Hello friends, Peg here and today is day 16 of HAOS Peculiar Persona. And today's page, art journal page, is all about Leander Loyalton. <laughs> well, I kind of did this page with tongue in cheek because, um, you know, what's more loyal than a pet, right? Everybody talks about their loyal puppy dogs and all of that. Well, I started thinking about some pets that we've had. And the ones that are not quite so loyal, which are always the kitty cats. Cats are not loyal. Cats are persnickety. And so when I saw the name Leander Loyalton, I couldn't help thinking about cats. So um, you're going to see kind of a different take on uh, this page. So let's... Uh, Get out some stencils, get some color down in the background. This particular stencil to me kind of reminded me of fish bones. And what better if you're thinking about uh, doing a cat than fish bones, right? So if you're not familiar with this challenge, it comes from Art Joy Sharing. Chelsea and I are moderators on a Facebook group, which is Art Joy Sharing, and we do lots of different uh, prompts and challenges throughout the year, and this just happens to be the one that we're doing in October this year. We did one in October last year, which was Snark Attack, and we did an art journal page every day, and they were all snarky pages. So if you're interested in that, go check out AJOS Snark Attack. But uh, this year, we decided to do, you know, snarky quotes along with these <laughs> personalities, right? These, uh, what do we call them? Peculiar persona. So, um, got my background. Happy with that. You know, I'm trying to make these shorter. This is This actually took me about an hour to create. And uh, it takes quite a bit of time to upload and edit videos, too. So when you're doing this every day for a whole month, it takes time. And so I'm try trying to cut down on the amount of time that I'm spending doing this. But, yeah, so far, I've not been terribly successful at that. So uh, I'm going to get a piece of deli paper and some uh, crayons, I think. And I'm going to create the image of the cat. Many times when I am trying to create something that's going on a page and I'm not sure how it's gonna work out or you know whether it's where I want it to be, I will do this. I will put something on a piece of deli and if I like it, then I'll coat the back with some white gesso just so that it kind of uh, covers what is in the background on a page. And then I will glue it to the page. So that's what I'm doing. This is gesso. I'm just putting a coat of gesso on the back of that deli paper. I have somewhat of a shape of a cat. I'm gonna glue that down. It's kind of a yellow tabby. <laughs> and uh, get that dried out a little bit. And then I'm gonna come in with some Posca pens and add some texture and color to the fur of my kitty and get some shape going on that image. And I'm drying in between because, you know, I'm going to work back and forth between pens. And I want to make sure that I'm not ruining my pens with wet paint. So this is a fine tip, Posca. Finding that I really like these. And I probably want to pick them up in several other colors, too. Um, 
planning on doing Art of the Carolinas with uh, Jerry's, and I'm hoping that the folks that had Posca pens the last time I was there will have them again. Uh, and then I can pick out the colors and sizes and shapes of Posca that I want. They really are a great acrylic pen. So my kitty, <laughs> my naughty, naughty kitty, is holding a fish in its mouth. Hmm. Yeah. Do you suppose maybe that fish was also a pet? <laughs> oh, my goodness. I just can't help but, I, like I say, tongue-in-cheek when I was doing this one. So I'm getting those uh, Marabou crayons and adding some color shadowing around the kitty. Uh, helps it stand out on the page. And it doesn't get the page all wet, which is another thing that I like about it. And then I'm going to add the kitty's name, which is Leander Loyalton to the opposite page, and then I need to add a quote. Yeah, or two. I did end up adding two quotes on here. Uh, one is a little bit harder to read than the other, but I think you'll like how this turned out. The first quote, quote reads, I ate your goldfish and threw up on the carpet. Now feed me and tell me I am the best. Is that a cat quote or what? I mean, sure sounds familiar to me. The other quote that I put on the page is, If you wanted sympathy, you should have adopted a dog. So did I make you smile today? I sure hope so. If I did, please remember to give me a thumbs up like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And come and join us on Art Joy Sharing and make some journal pages and tag us so that we know you are playing along. Thanks everybody. I'll see you again soon.